Hi. Hello, everyone. You're welcome to today's live. Welcome to today's live. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. So you're all welcome. Thanks for waiting for us to start. I always, always, always appreciate those that actually like wait, you know, for the live stream to start. You guys are the real MVPs. You're welcome to today's live. Who is here? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me, all right? Let me know if you can hear me. I love that feedback. Can you hear me? Is the volume working properly? Let's let's get to know. All right. I hope all is well. Yeah. Can I get some feedback? Hi, Shava. I can hear you very well. Okay, Nduka said he can hear me very well. Yes, we can hear you. That's awesome. You're loud and clear. All right. Great stuff. You're all welcome. So good to see you guys again. I feel like I missed you. <laughs> Should we be doing this like multiple times a day? Because like this once a day is not working. Like I can't always wait to be here with you guys again. You're all welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. Benita, Esther, Benedicta. Oh, you guys should meet Benita and Benedicta. You guys should, should hang out. <laughs> Your names are so close. Ah, right, you're all welcome. You're all welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Unduka. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Terry, good to see you again. Fire me, Godly Mike, Choma, you're all welcome. Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be talking about an opportunity to move to the U.S. You know, for free, a free opportunity in the U.S. You know how we do it here on the channel. I always bring you opportunities that you can take, you know, advantage of. You keep giving us back to back. <laughs> yeah. So I have like um i have like i have a list of like i don't even know there are so many like so many opportunities to share with you guys so i just have to come here as soon you know often as possible just to get out this info it's so much you know so many things are happening and the interesting thing is that some some close some are opening like today's own deadline is march 15 so i just have to do this video so that you guys can prepare for it, apply and everything. So there's there's a whole lot of back-to-back -back info here. I have so much info to give you guys. So there's a whole lot going on. <laughs> so much is going on. Those that talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, they're always like, ah, oh, but you, you've not said this on the channel, but you've not said this on the channel. You know, when I tell them things, I'm like, I can't say everything, you know? That is why there's always that room, that opportunity for you guys to just talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. And because some, some things I don't remember to say here, but you know, they do exist. It all depends on what your situation is. So you're all welcome. So good to be here with you again. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about this opportunity to move down to the U.S. And it's a very good one, you know, because moving to the U.S. is not the easiest, you know. <laughs> it's not the easiest, but when you see an opportunity that can take you into the U.S., you know, I think it's the one that needs to be grabbed with open arms. So do watch today's video to the end. You know, so you can get all the info. It's always very important to watch to the end. I'm going to show you everything, you know, share my screen and just show you all the info that you need to know. And then I'm also going to take your questions, okay? Today, I really want us to spend time together and really answer questions, solve problems, okay? Because that's why we are here. It's not all about just coming to talk, this one, this one, this one, and then run away. You know, I actually want you guys to make make it work for yourself okay and everyone has their own challenge we're not all at the same level with this thing people have their own different challenges you know so today i really want us to talk all right so pull up your pen and paper <laughs> and get just get a drink i have mine get your drink so that we could um 
get to solve a lot of problems today, okay? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Jackie and you're welcome right here on the channel. I share information to help you uh, improve your quality of life by op opening your minds to opportunities that are available abroad. And these opportunities come in different ways through study, through furthering your studies, through finding a better job, in increasing your you know, income, getting a better life, so much you know, goes on here on the channel. I talk about how to move to several countries, not just the US. I talk about how to move to Canada, to the UK, to Germany, to Japan, to Portugal, name it, so many countries right here on my channel as we speak. I have over 400 videos on my channel, so do well to watch them to get more info. And I made it easy for you. I put them in playlists. So if you want to go to the US, for example, you can just go to the US playlist, click on it. You're going to see all the videos I've done about the US and you can check out the ones that apply to you. I've talked about studies, I've talked about work. Same thing with Canada. You can go in there, check out the different immigration programs I've talked about on my channel. If you want to move to Canada as a healthcare worker, as a construction worker, whatever it is, studies, you need scholarships, fully funded scholarships, you need visa sponsorship jobs, it's all there. So you can check it out, check country by country, okay? And then I also have um, visas for remote workers. So if you are a remote worker, you're a freelancer, you own a business and can operate from anywhere in the world, I have, I have um, visas that you can take advantage of as well on my channel. There's so much. If you want to move without a job offer, I've got it. You want to move without IELTS, I've got it. Whatever it is, I have it on my channel. And I update my channel like every day with more information. So do subscribe to the channel, okay? It's going to be very valuable for you. Do subscribe. And when you do subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. So every time I come live, you know, you will be notified and you get to join us. Most people that are here early, they get notified and they join us. No, oh, Gillian, you're not late. You're right on time. You're all welcome, okay? And um, please give the video a thumbs up. That is a like. Please hit the like button. Very important. It means the world to me, okay? So please just hit the like button, the one that is under under the video at the moment, okay? Please just, just hit that like button. It's always really, it helps the channel a great deal. It means the world to me. And it's free, it takes you one second. So just hit the like button. We are like a hundred at the moment. Okay, well, over a hundred people have joined so far. So we should have like a hundred likes. What do you think? Yeah, please hit the like button. Please hit the like button. It's right under the video, okay? I'm seeing a lot of questions about KDP. Is there anyone that is not into the KDP business yet? Is there anyone remaining that is not into it? Yeah, I see your emails a lot. It's like you guys are forgotten about travels and you now want to make money. <laughs> well, money is very important. Money has kept a lot of people back from migrating. Um, lack of money has really, really delayed people a whole lot. You know, we're traveling abroad because many people want to actually genuinely want to go further their education abroad but can't afford it and um, they don't know about opportunities to move abroad for free, scholarships and things like that. So many people also even get to have job offers but don't have the money to take themselves down. You know, it's a whole lot. So money, yes, I do agree with you guys that money is very important, you know, in this in this business, you know, money is, is serious business. The Bible says money answers all things. And I mean, it's true. So yeah, if you're interested in making $1,000 every month passively, you make money while you sleep, <laughs> then I have something that you can try. It's something I do and it's working for me. It is a KDP business where you get to publish books on Amazon. And Amazon is the largest e-commerce platform in the world. In my previous video, someone dropped a channel asking, how will I sell my books? You don't need to market your books or anything. Once you upload your books, they are selling like immediately because the audience is there already. Amazon it has a global audience. People are going to be buying your books from all around the world. The US, the UK, Canada, Germany, Japan, all around the world. People are going to be buying your books, you know. And um, Amazon already has the customers. There are over 2 billion visitors to Amazon every month it is the biggest e-commerce platform so the people to buy your books are not the problem once you start i mean people that 
people do drop comments. And, you know, I usually see that, you know, people talk about how they've started, they are selling, I get the emails every day, flooding in my heart. This is not a Ponzi scheme. It's not a, will I make money? Will I not make money? This is a legit, it's a business, okay? You're starting a publishing business. It's not Ponzi that, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Or maybe you can't open a shop to sell bathroom slippers. You're like, will it sell, will it not sell? This is something that the audience is there already. The, the customer base is there and it's global, okay? You're selling globally. So it's really, really amazing. So if you want to make $1,000 every month, then you can join me on the KDP business. You start for yourself. When I started, I didn't know anything about it. Kate, um, Stackley trained me and they are willing to train you as well. So all you need to do is buy a pack of the public domain books that they have already put together, formatted, edited, everything ready to publish. So once you get the, um, the books from Stackley with the free training, you would be able to start your Amazon, your KDP business, start selling, you know, you need to make your money, save towards your relocation. That is what I did. To be honest, no jokes, I saved my KDP earnings and it helps me to migrate and also helps me you know with my living expenses even now that i am living abroad okay no jokes like this is not after all, you're not sharing your money with me it's for you you know so i have no reason to come here to say what doesn't exist you can google it it's it's, it's there's nothing secret <laughs> about kdp you can google it to find out okay but if you're interested the links are currently in the description box right now so you can just click on that buy any pack you want 300 150 60 they even made it like easy so you can get what you can afford i got the 300 pack you know and it's really been amazing but start with whatever you can afford okay so that's all i'm going to say about kdp the rest google it it's 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 everywhere <laughs> there's so much information about it all there okay i want to make money while i sleep oh, as in there's nothing as sweet let me tell you guys i get paid from this KDP business, I have multiple streams of income. I do believe in multiple streams of income. The Bible recommends it. Go read Ecclesiastes 11. It's all over there. You know, it says invest in seven ventures, even in eight, for you don't know which one is going to be pro profitable. You don't even know which calamity is going to come and all of that and all of that. So it's always good to spread, spread, you know, wide and all of that. So the thing is, um, it's so sweet. Passive income is the sweetest thing ever. Now, passive income is not free money. It's not like brr, you're gonna getting money from nothing. No, passive income is money that comes after you've done the initial work, okay? So you buy your pack of manuscripts. You buy 300 manuscripts today. You upload those 300 manuscripts on KDP. You've done the work. You're done. That is going to sell every day for many months, many years down the line, forever, you know, as God tarries. And Amazon is still in business. You know, you're selling your books forever. You're receiving your money every month without doing anything. I can't remember the last time I uploaded a book, but I still get paid every month. So it's really, really sweet. And you can do it from anywhere in the world, all right? Anywhere in the world. So I, I believe I've answered many people's questions about it. I want to buy the pack, but what if I can't publish? <laughs> it comes with training. You're going to get trained on how to publish, okay? A to Z, how to open your accounts on KDP, how to get paid, everything. It comes with training, all right? So don't worry about that. <laughs> as long as you're here, if you if you can be here today, <laughs> you, can, you can publish your books, all right? You're not responding to your question. Okay, Chi, what is your question? I want to know how much is it? There is a link, just click the link and see it, all right? I don't know, to be honest, I actually do not know because you can get it in different currencies. I don't know what your currency is. So just go check for yourself, all right? All the links are currently in the description box. Let me drop them here to make it easy for you. So just click it and check the one you want to get and get it. I highly recommend the 300 pack. Obviously, the more, the more products you have in the market, the more money, <laughs> the more your earning potential, isn't it? So those that, if you have 60 books, you definitely not be making as much as those that have 150. And those that have 150 would definitely not be making as much as those that have, you know, 300. But then again, start with what you can afford, okay? It's better than nothing. My people will say, at all, at all, and I ain't bad pass. Yeah? So I'm currently dropping the links in the live chat box. So just go check it out there. Don't send me emails to, to explain anything. I would not explain nothing. 
Don't send me any email and say you want to Google it. It's online. All right. Only email me if you need. Um, yeah, if you want to join my KDP group, I have a KDP group. So if you want to join my KDP group, send me an email after only after you bought your pack from Stackly. So when you buy your pack from Stackly, send me an email, then I can add you to my personal KDP group. Okay. We are, there are many of us in that group right now. When you join, you'll see them. <laughs> People that you see on this live chat, they are in that group. So when you buy your pack and you're ready for business, send me an email, all right? That's my email currently on the screen, Jackie Global Media. You can also reach me for anything travels as well. If you want the one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, you want me to review your CV, you want me to write a cover letter, you want me to assist you with um, your visa application, anything you want, you can also email me as well, all right? So let's get right into it. So yeah, America, America, America. Who wants to move to America? <laughs> Who wants to move to America? So I've talked about several ways to move to America on my channel. Oh, Mamsi, good to have you here. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Thanks for joining. It's so good to see you. All right, so I've talked about so many pathways, so many ways to um, the US already. I think I have like over 50 or 60 videos in the USA playlist. You know, I love the US so much. Obviously, everyone loves it. You know, it's a very good country to go and start a new life, you know, raise your kids, whatever, whatever, and all of that. So um, the what I want to talk about today is the study route. The study route is like the easiest route to move to the US. It's the easiest, okay? Um, don't go as a tourist hoping to stay. You'll be stuck. <laughs> don't try it. Just go to the U.S. as a student. That's like the easiest. If you can't get a visa sponsorship job from abroad, like from out, if you're outside the U.S., you want to move to the U.S. on a visa sponsorship job. If you're not highly skilled enough to go on that route, your next option is the study route. And I love the U.S. so much because there is so much funding for education. Okay, so many people can go school in the US for free. You know, there's so much funding. My dad did it. All his, his studies in America was fully funded, master's, PhD, everything he did, you know, school in the US all for free. And, you know, it, that's just how sweet the US is. So in today's video, I wanna show you this particular school that you can take advantage of. And I chose this school today because their admission rate is really high. Right, you stand a good chance of getting admission to this school, and you also get automatic scholarship. Like at the point of your application, you are considered automatically for a scholarship. So any scholarship that you qualify for, they are going to give it to you at the point of the admission. Okay, so you don't need to like have a separate application for your scholarship. There are already automatic ones. You automatically considered for scholarships but you can also explore external scholarships as well but anyway we're going to get to all of that we're going to get to that but first of all let's look at um let me show you guys where do we start where do we start if you're just joining please give the video a thumbs up okay give the video a like please give the video a thumbs up that really helps it really helps hit the like button hit the like button all right Okay, so let's explore scholarships. Let's let's start from there, since that is what I was talking about. Let's just look at the scholarships they currently have. Yeah. I do believe you can see my screen now. Yeah. So now this is like the main thing that you guys need for those that can't um, fund their studies, okay? It's very important that you know how you can... Um, take advantage of the financial aid that has been provided even for international students, okay? So this school, there was a place I saw that um, they award over 300,000, 300 million scholarships annually. I saw that information somewhere on the website and I was so impressed by that. I'm, I'm gonna find it before the end of this video. I'm gonna find it so that we can see that together. Yeah, but for uh, as far as scholarship goes, financing your education. We pride ourselves on delivering a quality education that prepares your graduates to thrive while making the organizations and people they ser serve even better. At the same time, we seek to keep the cost of pursuing a graduate degree competitive with other 
graduate programs in 2022 to 2023, we awarded over $6.5 million in financial support to students. In some cases, after scholarships, assistantships, and other financial support, the final cost to attend this school is an outstanding value, all right? So yeah, it's, it's really cool here. So let's just go. There are scholarships here, they are doctoral assistantships. So there are two ways, well, more than two ways as a matter of fact, you know, ways that you can fund your studies in the US. Either you get a scholarship, right? Or you get an assistantship. That is where you work as a researcher or um, a graduate assistant, you know, in the school. And then in exchange for that, they give you tuition waiver and even give you monthly stipends as well that you could put towards your living expenses, yeah? So that's basically how it works. And you can also combine several scholarships together. You know, you can get a scholarship here. If it's not fully funded, just get that. Get, you know, whatever comes, you take it. You get another scholarship here, you add it to that, and you still explore assistantships at the same time. So you can, you can pull in financial aid from different sources. And at the end of the day, you get to study for free, right? So I think it's a very good one. So let's, let's look at scholarships, yeah? Let's just look at scholarships. So there are several scholarships listed here and they give the value, like this is the Byron Williams Teaching Scholarships and it's a guaranteed 65% tuition, right? This other one here is guaranteed 40%. This one is 15,000 towards tuition and one year paid teacher residency while studying, all right? And then we have 60% here, we have 50% here. So you can actually combine scholarships together and also explore external scholarships. It's written here, you can see scholarships can be used to supplement other external scholarships. This is where I'm reading from, yeah? Scholarships can be used to supplement other external scholarships or employee tuition benefits. The student or employee student benefits the students may be eligible for, right? What am I reading? Let me take that again, please. Scholarships can be used to supplement other external scholarships or employee tuition benefits, okay? The students may be eligible for. However, these other sources of financial aid must be disclosed in advance and must be credited before any scholarship is applied, okay? So they are saying that before, you know, you get the internal one, you must declare the one, you know, disclose the one you got externally, all right, before that. But they've, they've you know, said that you can actually combine these scholarships together, okay? So that's that about scholarships. There's so much going on on that front. So let's get to see um, the... Um, doctoral assistantships all right let's get to look at that so if you're doing a doctoral program you know most full-time doctoral students are awarded assistantships that provide a combination of tuition remission that is they're going to waive your tuition fees for you and a stipend in exchange for providing services supporting the mission of the Wana School of Education. So those opportunities include this, full assistantships requiring 12, 15 to 20 hours per week and including a, tu a full tuition waiver. So if you get a doctoral assistantship, tuition fees is waived for you completely. And all you need to do is to work 15 to 20 hours per week in exchange for that. And not only is your tuition fee waived, you also get a stipend as well to help with your living expenses. I mean, so I think, I feel like it is a win-win situation. You get to study for free and then you also get paid on the side for your living expenses as well. So this is really amazing. And then during um, holidays, you can work, you know, you can take up full-time jobs, like work 40 hours a week outside campus if you want. So you can actually like merge you know, jobs together if you have the capacity to do that. All right, so there's other information here about that. There is so much here. So, you know, you guys are definitely, if you're interested in this, you definitely come to this website for yourself to see more info, all right? Because obviously I can't like read the entire website for you. I'm just like pointing out the um, important information 
so that if you're interested, you can come here by yourself and see what needs to be done. Obviously, if you want to apply, you need to come here because the apply button is on the website. <laughs> so you can't escape it, okay? So let's see more info. Let's look at look at um, the deadlines, yeah? Let's, let's quickly look at deadlines. Um, what do you need to know? Okay, ready to apply. Start your application. Yeah, let's look at that. Start your application. What do you need to know? The deadlines. So we welcome applications on a rolling basis. Next priority deadline is March 15, 2024. <coughs> Excuse me. So next deadline is in March, March 15. That is if you want to study this year. Yeah, you want to study this year, your deadline is March 15, priority deadline. So what they mean is that when they say application is on a rolling basis, that means that you can apply to the school at any time, okay? Apply any time you like, and then you're going to be considered for the next available intake, right? So if you want to study fall of this year, that is September this year, you need to apply before March 15, okay? Because obviously you're an international student, you need time to apply for your visa, get everything together and then travel to the US, depending on which country you are, getting a visa appointment is like many, many months ahead. Okay, so the application fees, there's application fees for this school, but there is also application fee waiver. All right, so application fee here is 70 US dollars, which is submit, you know, which is required when you submit your application but there is a fee waiver. So let me even show you the fee waiver like right now so that you know what, what is going on. Let me just show you that immediately so that you can see that you can actually apply to this school for free. So you have nothing to lose, free application. So you can see it here, get, um, receive a 70% application fee waiver when you complete the form below. So all you need to do is fill this form this request information form, and you're going to get free application. Is that not cool? What do you guys think? Is that not a good thing? So just fill out this form. You give your name, your email, your phone number, citizenship, in year of study, blah, blah, blah. Very short form. In, in like less than a minute, you're done. And you get your application fee waived for you. So you get to apply for free. Is that not cool? Yeah, that's cool. Terry said that's cool. That's good. That's really amazing. So let's get back to the application page that I was I was on before I showed you that. Where is it? I have so many tabs open. <laughs> um, where was I? Application. Um, yeah, okay, I've seen where I was. Okay, so... Let's see. So start your application. So deadline is March 15, okay? And then number two, please scan and upload your transcripts to the online application. So you're going to upload your official transcripts, you know, of your previous education here, all right? And then number three, letters of recommendation from members of the academic community and or workplace professionals who know your qualifications for graduate study are required, okay? So they said preferably at least one recommendation should be from a former professor, all right? At least two letters are required. So you need to submit two letters of rec recommendation. So they are saying that you can combine it, have one come from your professor, your previous professor or lecturer, you know, the call them professors in the US. So your former lecturer can get one of the letters for you and then Maybe your boss at your workplace can also provide one of the letters. You can get the two letters from your previous school, but you can't get the two letters from work, okay? One, at least one has to come from school, all right? Is that cool? So this is the time to go um, be charming with your lecturers if you're not. So number four, you need a statement of purpose describing your academic or professional background and your interest in pursuing graduate study at this school. So for people that have long study gaps, this statement of purpose is where you have the chance to really explain what you've been doing after your last you know, degree 
like if you, your study gap is like over six years and all of that, because most times they need people that, you know, have graduated within the, the last five years, they're about, you know, those ones are safe. <laughs> so if you have a long, a longer study gap, use your statement of purpose to explain why you've been out of academics for that long what have you been doing professionally you know talk about things like that this statement of purpose is very important because it could be the deciding factor in whether you're going to be getting the admission or not okay because yeah so many people are going to come with very good degrees have all their papers together amazing letters of recommendation and everything and then it's just the statement of purpose that is going to make you know, you stand out from the next person, okay? Because they want to know that, because there's limited space, first of all, they can't like admit the entire world into the school. So they need to know that the people that they are going to be admitting are people that are going to value this education a great deal, okay? So the statement of purpose, they say, is generally between two and four pages double spaced you can upload a file or cut and paste into the online application all right then number five current resume or cv so you need your cv you can't escape it you need to get your cv together and um an academic cv is different from a, prof a work cv okay so excuse me the cv you've been using to apply for jobs is definitely not the same cv you're going to be using to apply to school okay so the difference here is that when you're writing your cv for for um school application focus more on your education achievements you know after you put in your profile who you are your contact the next should be your education right and certifications things like that don't put work experience first because this then um the work experience is not like the major major thing in your school application but you can highlight the aspects of your work that relates to the studies that you're going for okay achievements you've had professionally that is going to help you with that and also let's say um your first degree has nothing to do with your second degree for example your professional experience and things like that is all is going to come in handy right there because you'll be able to explain what led you from what you studied before and what you want to pursue now okay so you there's a way you can write just put your cv together so it's not something you just do in a hurry whatever whatever same cv you used to apply for care jobs is the one you use here no you can't do that it's not going to work you can always google academic cv see the template see the things that you really need to highlight in your cv to put together for this application and i can also assist you in your cv review for this application as well all right if that applies to schools i can actually do the cv review for you so you can send me an email and we'll sort that out okay all right after that writing sample i think this one relates to i don't know if it's for everybody there are some um admission requirements that are program specific so when you find the program you want to go for every program page is definitely going to write you know the admission requirements okay so it's not everything that is definitely going to apply to everyone but then there's a writing sample and then ad additional admission and certification requirements you know these ones are program specific is written here all right, and then test scores. For many of our programs, we do not require entrance exams as part of the application. If you have already taken GRE and wish to submit your scores, it's fine, you can put it in, you know, but it's not like something that is needed for that. And then for international students, they've said here that you're going to be needing um, English proficiency tests if you are not in a native English speaker. All right. So if your if your country is not if your first language in your country or official language is not English, you may be needing to have your proficiency test exam. But this, this is something that you can always like email them, find out if you need it. They usually have one. Um, there's one website like that where they usually check if your if you qualify for um, in the test waiver based on your previous um studies there's something i can't remember what that site is right now i've gone to that site like so many times so you can always like write them to find out if you need it or not all right just tell them you're from this country you schooled in this school you were taught in english and all of that so all those things can be waived it's for people that are non 
native English speakers, those that got to learn English like later in life, all right? All right, and then we have, um, what is this? Okay, just other information about, about the application. So you just click here to start your application, all right? You click here to start the application. So I wanna like show you guys some other things. Do we have time? How, how long have we been here? Oh, we don't really have time for it. Okay, so you're gonna check other things yourself. There is a page here for frequently asked questions. So it's also a page that you can explore. See the frequently asked questions, you know, real quick, blah, 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 blah. You just go through it. All these are drop downs. So you just go through this and see all those questions and, um, get your quick answers and of course go through the website see everything that is there let me drop the link so the name of this school is wana college of education wana college of education university of rochester so the um url is wana.rochester.edu wana dot <clears throat> one let me let me put it on the screen real quick for you guys wana.rochester.edu all right so just check out the link if you're interested okay you really need to go through the websites to get all the info what i did is just you know letting you know this is this this is that this exists so <laughs> you go do your research to find out more please can this school take hnd holder that is where you have to go to the website to check out the information, check out the program you want to apply for and see what the requirements are. OK, you need to do that for yourself. All right. So that's the link right there. Go check it out. A statement of purpose. And hey, you can see here this is coming from. Said, yes, a statement of purpose is the most important deciding factor in an admission seeking file. She even speaks like she's a professor. <laughs> so you've heard it. I didn't say it. You know, you've heard it there. Your statement of purpose is very, very important. Don't just, just write it and just pass just to say, okay, I've applied to a school. No, take your time and really make it good. All right. You can always Google it, check for info online, check for templates, what should be in your statement of purpose, what should not be in it. I can actually do videos about all these things. You know, I think I should. I'll just find time and actually do a video about how to write a winning statement of purpose. I should do that the same way I did about CV, cover letter. I think I should do things about, you know, academics as well. So I'll get to do that for you guys. All right. If you're interested. So let me know if you're interested. <clears throat> so I won't just be wasting my time. <laughs> let me know if you're interested because the information I bring here is based on your interest. OK, I'm not just here to talk about what interests me. If I want to talk about the things that interest me, We'll probably be talking Jesus, all right? We'll just be preaching the gospel every day, you know? So I'm here to just talk about the things that you want, you know? So it's always good to get your feedback, you know, which countries you want to move to. Let me know that as well. Drop it in the comments, you know, which country you are, which country you want to move to. Um, you can also tell me a little bit about yourself, maybe your profession, what's your occupation. This sort of information are going to help me as well so that I could bring to you the information that you want that is going to be useful to you all right so if you found value in today's video please give it a thumbs up <laughs> please hit the like button oh my voice <clears throat> okay format search is interested that's good that's awesome so please check out the website and um see how you can apply before march 15 okay Try and apply as soon as possible. Don't even wait till March. Apply like now. You know, try and just get your your application together so that you could be considered for financial aid. Because it's those that apply early that get considered for financial aid because it is limited. And imagine if you know very exceptional students apply early, they're going to take up take take everything. There will be nothing left for you that is coming late. So apply fast. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's let me take your questions. Okay, let's get into questions. I really want to like answer a lot of questions today. All right. So we are done with the main info. All right. So let me take in. Let me take questions. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are doing a great a great job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ah, oh. <laughs> looking forward to the video. All right. I dropped you. A, I just dropped you a mail, madam. <laughs> I will look at it, sir or madam. I'll check it out later. Okay. Uh, let us know about job opportunities in the U.S. Okay, yeah, we're going to talk about that maybe tomorrow or thereabout. So subscribe to the channel, okay, and turn on your post notification bell so that when next I am on, you can join us, all right? Malta SEI, the cost, please explain. I've done a video about it, so you can go check out that video. I did a video about it, I think, two days ago. So please check out that video, and um, you can also research as well check out the Maltese immigration website for more information i shared it in that video thank god you know the name so you can just search for it all right i want to know how much is a 60 kdp pack check the link i don't know it's there in the link just click on it and check all right so let's see let me look for questions Happy to watch you live. Oh, Mary, thanks for joining. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I am PhD with 32 years experience, who's five years old and wants to migrate. Okay, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. The opportunities for you, you can even like explore um, lecturing opportunities if, if you have a flair for it, yeah? Can I start with 60 books and later upgrade to 150 or 300? I think at the moment, you just need to buy the pack. So if you buy a, a pack of 60 right now, you want to upgrade. You just buy, buy the pack of 150. You want to upgrade to 300, you just buy the pack of 300. That's how it works, okay? So you just, whatever you, you can just buy whatever. And then when you want something more, all you need to do is just buy that pack. All right? I want to go to America. Yay, good. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Um, please, I just clicked on the link, but don't understand. I believe you're talking about KDP. <clears throat> okay, she please send me an email. Just send me a... <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay, she please send me a mail, okay? <laughs> I don't understand what you're asking, but I think that is a KDP question. Send me an email and I'll assist you with that, okay? Ego, you're not late. You're right on time. You can watch from the beginning. Please watch the website of the school. Okay, I've answered that already. You probably asked when I did not talk about it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've shared the website already. So it's there. Please, I'm interested in Malta. Can you help me? <laughs> Send me an email. We'll talk about Malta. Like, I don't know. There's so much. I keep saying tomorrow. There's so much to talk about. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But I have um, info for work in Malta. So one of these days, we're going to talk about the jobs available in Malta. Malta is currently hiring foreign workers. Like I said in my video, like two days ago, when I talked about the new immigration pathway that was, you know, put together to um, attract foreign skilled workers. So there are jobs available. And we're going to do a video about these jobs one of these days. It could be tomorrow. Only God knows. I love it, and I already want to relocate. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's cool. This, can this school take h &D? Yeah, I think I've answered that already. I answered while I was speaking. Okay. Does this school require us to write an essay? Um, could that be your statement of purpose that you're asking about? Yes, you're going to write it. But just check for the program you want to go in for, and you're going to see the requirements for the program. All right? Okay, yes, please do. Many need help on how to write a statement of purpose. All right, I'm going to do that video to assist you guys. All right. Okay, Terry, one-on-one um, -on -one consult consultation. I have a link already. If you check the description box, I have a link where you can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me or just send me an email and I will send you the link. All right. That's that's possible. So Terry, please you can send me an email if you want. Um, okay. <laughs> I think we're done.
Okay, this question, do applicants have to prove financial backing from their home country to apply for one scholarship? Okay, so the thing is, the scholarship is, is you don't need to apply for the scholarship. You're automatically considered at the point of application. And I didn't see where they asked for financial statements during the application, I actually went through it, but I'm not sure since I didn't go all the way to the end, you know, but I didn't see any place where they asked for financial statements. But because you're not, um, I don't know, maybe somehow, somehow they're going to ask for it because it's not a free school, right? Since it's not a free school, they may somehow want to know your financial standing, but I'm not sure. But for the scholarship for the school, you're automatically considered. Yeah, so I do believe you should have to, I don't know. Well, when you want to go through the application process, you're going to see that because I didn't go through the application process to the end. When I started, I saw, I saw how it goes from the beginning, but you know. Okay. Um, yeah, you can just go through the website of your school. Please help me with my CV. I have sent you a message. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll check out all your emails. So I think that's it. I think I've answered every question here today. So let's, let's talk again tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about work. Okay, because I know a lot of people want jobs, overseas jobs. So let's talk about work tomorrow. All right. And um, every other coming day, you know, God willing, we are going to be talking about others. There's so much going on. There is so many new opportunities. There's something for Canada that just opened up. You know, so much is happening. I wish we had like, uh, like 100 hours a day so that we could take off these things. But that is why I try to come on like, almost every day as much as I can. And you know, I try to come here to share info. There is so much going on. So if you want to migrate this year, this is like the best year to migrate because so much is going on. So just look for one opportunity that you can take advantage of. And if you feel like where you are right now, you don't stand a good chance to migrate. You can always prepare towards your migration. Let's say you don't have like work experience. You don't have a degree. You don't have certifications. You don't have, you know, you can walk your way through it. And what you can do is to look for occupations that are in demand and the ones that are easy for you to get into. You know, I would recommend like IT skills because, I mean, they are so lucrative all around the world. So you can check out the um, IT skills that you can quickly get into and then get into that. OK, so much is going on. And um, you can also try caregiving. That's another lucrative um, occupation as well. Caregiving is quite lucrative and it's easy to get into. Anyone can get into caregiving. I think um, the education requirement is secondary school, right? So if, if you're a secondary school graduate, you can get into caregiving. All you need to do is to get trained, okay? So look for how, forget those free courses on Allison, Florence and the rest. Get like a real physical training where you are and also gather work experience as well. And then you'll be able to apply for overseas jobs as a carer and move as a carer because almost every country, you know, developed countries are experiencing labor shortage in the care sector because they have a very high aging population and not enough young people to care for them. So caregiv caregivers are so needed. So you can get into that as well. So you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work, you know, to get this done. It's not, someone is not going to knock your door one morning and give you visa and job and everything. You have to work your way through it. Make yourself valuable enough that an employee overseas will want to hire you, okay? Or you go try to study routes. You can just go for studies, you know, and all of that. Okay, so I think that is where we're going to draw the curtains for today. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. You guys are amazing. Let's meet again tomorrow. But before you go, please give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> Very important. Give the video a like, please. And subscribe to the channel if you've not done that already. And if you're just joining us, please watch the video from the beginning so you can get all the information. And if you're watching this video after the live stream, you can drop a comment. If you have a question, please drop a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jackie. Let's see you again tomorrow.